Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at a brand new device. I'm talking about the new Honor 20 Pro. Yes, Honor has finally released the 20 Pro, which is part of the Honor 20 series, successor to the Honor 10 from last year, and the Pro model really packs in a lot of punch and reminds me of like a P30 Pro Mini. Now, why do I say that? Let's take a look at the device clearly and take a good look uh, at what Honor is bringing to the table. First off, you've got a 6.26 inch display, it's uh, thin bezels, it's got a hole punch top left hand corner, something Honor has started with the Honor View 20 earlier this year. So that design aesthetic still stays the same. The display is a full HD plus, uh, resolution is about 2346 by 1080p. Uh, nice, vibrant display. Now we move to the back of the device is where you see some of the similarities I said with the P30 Pro. You've got a quad camera setup, but it's slightly different quad camera setup. This houses a 48 megapixel Sony sensor, which is that sensor everyone's been using now, like uh, what um, same sensor you find in the OnePlus 7 Pro, but this packs in a lot of stuff in there. Uh, the sensor uh, supports uh, EIS for recording, AIS, OIS, You've got AI-assisted uh, night mode as well, so you've got your night mode photos uh, built into this as well. You've got a wide-angle sensor, 60 megapixels. You've got a um, telephoto that does 3x optical zoom, 5x hybrid zoom, and uh, you've got 30x uh, all digital zoom. Uh, we'll take a look at some pictures there. Now that fourth camera is a 2 megapixel macro lens to give you more of those macro shots in there. So you have all these lenses, you've got a flash there, the front-facing camera is 32 megapixels. Um, looking at this device, it's really nice, very nice flush build. Honor tends to build really good devices, and it takes some design aesthetics from the, uh, the, the Huawei line of devices. So this is taking some from that P30 line, and, uh, and I can see it here, but it looks really nice. Under the housing, we do have the Kirin 980. Uh, you've got eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. The Kirin 980 is a 790mm chipset. It's a really good processor. It's got that GPU uh, Turbo 2.0 uh, in there. So uh, that should give you better gaming performance. Actually, GPU Turbo 3.0 on there so you should get better gaming performance all around on this device you've got a 4000 milliamp battery so a big battery and this should last you quite a while because uh, i mean honor is well known for their battery life huawei has done really good jobs i mean i say the p the uh the p30 pro has the best battery life of any smartphone and if it follows the same design aesthetic with the magic ui 2.0 i think you're going to get some really astonishing battery life again and it's very similar that's 4200 this is 4000 so you're going to get some really Really good battery life off this device. A USB Type C port, there is no headphone jack on this thing, uh, so you do have that. In terms of uh, sound, you've got virtual 9.1 surround sound, uh, dual microphone noise reduction, not dual speak, not uh, stereo speakers there on there, just to get let you guys know. Now, this also uses a 22.5 watt uh, on a supercharged battery, which means you get 55% in 30 minutes, so you're gonna get fast charging on this bad boy. So what about images? You know, it's got a quad camera system. How do the images look? Daytime photos look really, really good. They've done a good job here in making this thing look nice, sharp. The 48 megapixel sensor really captures a lot. Dynamic range is pretty good. Danny Winget would be happy to see those clouds in the sky. Really stayed focused on that. So I like what they're doing there with that. Now, when you go over and you look at uh, some of the nighttime photos, uh, sorry, this, before we get to nighttime photos, let's look at also those, those lenses, right? The standard lens, we're taking a photo here of, of uh, my buddy, David Dale Locker. You can see how the wide angle lens first looks. Uh, pretty nice, there's a lot of details, daytime, so you can capture more light. Uh, the standard lens, of course, gives some really nice focus detail. Then we have the 3X zoom, uh, which looks uh, nice. Uh, the 5X zoom looks a little bit, um, I would say, just a little bit digitized for me. And of course, the 30X, you can see we zoomed all the way into David right there. So that's something we don't want to see. But thank you, David, for actually posing for those photos. Now we move to our nighttime photos. Uh, there's a lot of detail here for this camera. It does a really good job, and you can see how clearly it picks up street shots here in London and things like that. But when we move over to a quick comparison to the uh, P30 Pro, you can see some of the differences here. 
So starting with the wide angle lenses, the Honor 20 Pro on the left just looks brighter and more detail, less of that, you know, flurring of the light bulb or street light bulb on the right that you see on the Honor on the Huawei P30 Pro. The Honor 20 Pro looks sharper. It does look softer on the top right hand edges, which I think the P30 Pro is a little bit sharper there, but I like what I see from the Honor 20 Pro or the wide angle nighttime shot. Really looks good in night mode. Now, moving to the regular camera or the regular lens, again, this is that 48 megapixel being used to full capacity. You can see looking down the street, especially the top of the building on the right, there's more detail there. It looks also brighter than what we see on the P30 Pro. This is quite impressive. Um, although yes, this is a solid photo, but it just looks a little bit brighter. Now this is not in extreme low light situations, but in this case here where there's some street light on the street, this looks really, really good. Which is why I think it really is a device that will capture the imagination. Now you're thinking, okay, how much is it gonna cost? $499 for the Honor 20 and $599 for the Honor 20 Pro uh, in pounds, pounds sterling. So that's the pricing you have for this device. It's looking at roughly around six to seven hundred dollars for the Honor 20 and 20 Pro, which is interesting. Pricing has gone up a little bit more. You're getting more for this device. We have to spend more time to see what you're going to get fully with the Honor 20, uh, 20 Pro here. But this is trying to compete, I guess it's competing in the same avenue as your uh, OnePlus 7 Pro. So you're looking at as its main competitor. So if we get a chance, we'll do a comparison for you. Now you're wondering, what about this all, the, the recent uh, issues that Huawei is facing with the US government? How that does that affect updates? Huawei has said, look, you'll be able to get uh, your security updates from them and uh, the Play Store will still be accessible. Google has said that as well. Now, there's also a 90 day reprieve, so this should fall under the 90 day reprieve, at least for now. Uh, I can't give you anything more, so hopefully those things change. But if you're looking to pick up a device, this might be something you're interested in, especially how Huawei has done well with the cameras on their high-end phones and something like this, which is their mid-ranger, in a sense with the Honor 20 Pro, you're gonna get very similar camera performance. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and Always enjoy your entertainment.